Hello everyone, this is Oli. Uh, I'm a lecturer of ICT and computer science. Uh, today I'll show you how to solve the Excel O-level ICT question paper, 2016, paper two, the practical. Okay, uh, in this video, we're just going to cover task AG1 and AG2. So um, let's move to the question first. Okay, <clears throat> so here is our question, uh, information and communication technology, ICT practical, paper or paper two, uh, you will be given a total three hours to solve all the questions. Okay, so <clears throat> let's move to our, um, what we're going to cover in today's video. Yes, this one. Um, so we are going to do this uh, task today. This is um, uh, a graphics work, so called using art, imaging, and graphic software. We're going to do this task. So uh, for each and every task, uh, to do this practical, you will be needing the data files. The data files will be given in your exam, uh, in the exam hall, uh, you will be provided with. And uh, the data files for, uh, files for uh, paper 2016, I'm going to upload it in the comment section below. All right, so uh, using art, imaging and graphics software. So you can use any types of graphics software over here, but I'll recommend you to use the paint software because it's very easy to use. Or you can also use the uh, Photoshop, or Illustrator, any any software, because these are very basic works uh, that you need to do. All right, so <clears throat> let's move to our question. So here, uh, asking that, uh, okay, before we uh, move to activity one, we need to uh, uh, read a little bit about the scenario. So, so Teddy Air Holiday Rentals is, is a company, it's owned by Martin Grimkist and the company rents out cottages in Scotland. These are the contact details. So you have given the uh, address, the contact details, the telephone, the website, and the email. All right, okay, <laughs> that was just, all right. Um, so, uh, contact details are given and all like, uh, now let's move to activity one, uh, using art or imaging graphic software, Martin has created the logo for the company. Okay. He has saved the logo as Terrier. Okay, uh, if we look at the data files right now, we can uh, have a look at this. The data files is given in the image section. Okay, so here are the data files and you can see that, that Martin has created a logo that is called Terrier. Okay, uh, let me just open it up and uh, let me show it to you. What do you need to do over here? photos and uh, here we go uh, it's coming out a little bit late here is it all right so this is the logo thr this has been created by martin but i think we need to fix it as asked in the question and uh, here it is first they were asked open a new document using a word processing software, enter task as you want, your name, your candidate number, and center number in the footer of the document. So what you need to do is like uh, open a Microsoft Word first. Uh, over here, make sure you can open it. Uh, so if you can just go to the start button and uh, search Microsoft Word and you will find it. Uh, so let me, share the screen over here. So I have opened a Microsoft Word document in the question. Uh, I've been asked to open the document and uh, I've been asked to enter the following details in the footer. So how do you add footer in Microsoft Word? You go to insert and you go to add footer over here. It's very, it's a select a blank footer. So you have been asked to add the following details. So I'm just going to copy, copy paste them like from the question it's given. Uh, task AG1, yes. All right, so I just copy paste it. So what you need to do is like, um, you're just gonna write task AG1 as asked in the question, your name, your candidate, these are going to be edited. So you can write your name over here, write your candidate number over here and send your number in the footer of the document. All right, now click here to close header and footer. All right. So now your footer is added. That's that's your first step. It's done. Now let's move to our next instruction that is given in the question. All right, let's just go back to our question. Okay, here is it. So 
after you are done, you have to save the document, then you have to insert the graphics area into the document task AG1. Now, before we move to number two, we're going to uh, have a look at A1, insert the graphic area into document. So if you haven't ever inserted any uh, picture or any graphic in a Microsoft Word, so let me show it to you how you'll do it. All right, so let me share it back. Okay, here is it. So first, let me save it as uh, this. Save the document as task AG1. So, so I, have, I have this folder where you given, like, uh, let me make a folder 2016 paper to solution. So, in this folder, I'm going to give it as task AG1. Task is over. So now I need to insert the um, logo that Martin has made. Let's click on pictures and working files. Uh, so I have saved my documents over here. Lecture materials. This, these are the P2 uh, 2016 data files and you'll find it in 2007 images. So this is the logo that Martin made, Terrier. So I'm just gonna like uh, insert it over here. It looks a bit, little, uh, uh, it occupies a lot of space. So you can just like uh, click it like this and uh, resize it, right? So, okay. So now let's move to our question again. Okay, so what does it say in the next line? Martin is not happy with the design of the logo. The document task AG1 identified two aspect, aspects of the design that should be improved. Okay, so you have to identify the two aspects that should be improved. So uh, here we can write the two aspects. Let's write uh, A2 answer. Okay. What can be the two other aspects that uh, should be included uh, to improve the design? As you can see, the design, uh, the text is not clear. So um, we should uh, use an image so that text could be clear. that uh, or we can write it like this so that anyone can read the text properly uh, the another point can be um, use an liner image why do we need to use an liner image because uh, using a liner image um, is useful for uh, whenever you are working on a logo. Um, it's very professional that you use a line at image. Okay. That, um, so, or we can like use our line at image, all right. Okay, so um, we are quite done uh, with our first question number A. Now let us move to the paper. Okay, so resave task as you want, we're gonna do it later and open a suitable graphics package. Now we need to open a suitable graphics package when you can use uh, paint or we can use the uh, Adobe Photoshop if you want to do, use it for, use Photoshop, you can use it. Create a new logo for the company. So uh, we need to create a new logo for the company. It must be fit for the purpose. So you have given two criteria: one suitable image from the image folder. So you have to find one suitable image from the image folder. So we'll we'll find that and we'll also explain why uh, that image is suitable for making your logo. Now the words terrier uh, rental holiday. This this word has to be over there. So let me just uh, copy it. Uh, before we start working, uh, because uh, we'll be adding this text. All right. 
So um, let's move to pay our, let's move to the Spain software. This is the Spain software where we'll be working. So um, here, if you want to make the new logo, I'm going to first uh, open. Now, um, question is which image you should choose? Uh, well, this is the data files of 2019. Uh, we will move to 2016 data files again, and here is it. Okay, so which image is suitable for making the logo? All right, so these are the uh, still pictures. These are not useful for making logos. So we, as I explained earlier, that uh, line art images are very, um, it's very attractive for uh, preparing a logo or looks more attractive when you are making a logo. All right, so here we have added the uh, dog image. Uh, the liner dog image here where we can prepare the uh, logo. All right, so uh, just need to do is like, we have a suitable image now. Now we need another thing is the text has to be there. The text that I copied a while ago, we can copy it later and uh, paste it. Just use this text and that will insert the text in the picture. All right, Terrier enter holidays. You can make it like this. All right, so text. So this is the uh, font uh, bar, and here you can use text size. You can uh, make it a little bit. It's not mandatory that which um, font size you will be using. If they ask you in the question, you will use that font size, or you can like just choose any font size that looks um, attractive or okay to you. So this is what we need to need to do, terrier and uh, holiday interest. So now we have made our logo and this is a C, it is very easy. Now, um, okay, now we are going to do like, let's get back to our question. Save the logo as THR, paste a copy of THR in task AG1. So after we save it as THR, we'll uh, paste it in task AG1, the task AG1 document that we created earlier. All right. so. Now let's get back to our paint and uh, here is it. We click it, save and well, let me just uh, click it as save as G and here I created the folder. Now I'm going to save it as THR. Uh, so our logo is saved as THR. You can see it in the top bar. The logo is saved as THR. Okay, as asked in the question. Now um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, paste it in the so I'm going to paste it in the Word document over here. So insert pictures. So I saved it in the documents. So from here, I will insert the file THR. Now it's a bit big when you paste it. I'll just make it a bit smaller. Okay. So now look at this Im uh, two images and compare them. Which one looks more better as a logo? Definitely this one because it has a clear view and we can read the text properly and it has a line at image. All right. So <clears throat> now we need to get back to the question. Okay, so, so far we are done. Like you do not need to print at this stage. You will print it later when you'll be asked to do it. Okay, so in document task AG1, explain why your logo design is an improvement on Terrier. So why this image is an improvement? Now, um, you have to explain it. You will give, you'll be given two marks for it. So. Uh, let me give the explanation to you. If you're going to write it like this. Um, so explanation is uh, number C. So. C. so number C answer is going to be explain why this logo is better than that one. Okay, um, because um, you'll just write it, write it like this because the text, is um, 
visible properly and and we can also um, add some points over here Or we can write um, use of better image. So you'll be given two marks for each point, use of better image one point and because of text is, because the text is visible properly. Okay. Okay, so, so far we have completed our work. Let's like resave the task as you just click on the save button, it will be resaved again. Now let's go back to the question again. So here we have completed the nine marks. Now uh, let's move to task AG2. Open the new document using the what presence after again. And then again, you need to do the following task. Um, use this. is asking the question. So I'll start creating a new document. Uh, I'll just save it and close it a little bit later. Or uh, just create the blank document over here. Okay, now here is my document too. Uh, as you know, I showed you before how you can go in, uh, go to the insert and click on the footer and it'll be given a blank footer and just click task ag2 your name just, you're just going to write your candidate number your name center number as given all right so now close it now save it as the task ag2 so we are we have completed this so far now now let's have a look. Martin wants to use the image house in our presentation. So we'll uh, come to the presentation, but later, but for now we need to, uh, many, uh, we need to uh, work on the image house. Uh, open the house image in a suitable graphics package. The image, image must remain uh, rectangular. Crop the image to remove the house. Okay, uh, let's just go through these details a little bit later, but let's first um, look at the image. Okay, so I'm going to share the screen again here. So I'm just gonna like um, click on new. When I click on new, find new screen. So this is the new screen as you can see. So here I will just uh, go to the file and open from the data files. Okay. Why are the data files again? Okay, that's okay. I got it. So again, we uh, found the data files and uh, see you are asked to select this image house. So what you need to do over here? Now let us look at the instructions properly. This is the image that we need to work on. Okay, uh, I'm going to show it to you uh, part by part by just following the instruction. Uh, see the image uh, must be rectangular. So in the question it is given rectangular. So we need do not need to change it. So crop the image to remove the house and the telephone pole on the left of the gateway. So we need to identify, crop the image to remove the house. So we need to 
remove the house and we need to remove the telephone pole on the left of the gate. So let's go, uh, get back to the, okay, here is it. So crop the house first. So let's just, how will you crop it over here? You just need to select rectangular selection. It's like, um, here is it. So that is the house that you needed to crop. Now click crop and the house is cropped. The house that were uh, that was asked in the question. Let us look at look at it again. The house on the left. So in the left, the house that I had we cropped it. Now we need to remove the telephone pole. The telephone pole was also there. That was also removed. And next thing, the gravel pathway below the yellow rectangle. So below the yellow rectangle, the gravel pathway, we need to remove that as well. So let's just, so this part, this part that we need to remove. Okay, so for that, you can just uh, like do it like this and it will be automatically removed. It's cropped already, okay. So uh, we have, uh, completed uh, the instructions that were given. Now let's move to the next instruction that was given the question, uh, the tree on the right of the house. So there is a tree on the right of the house as well. We need to crop that as well. And the last one is as much as the sky possible without cropping the mountain peak. So we cannot crop the mountain peak, but without cropping the mountain peak, we have to crop the sky as much as possible and also the right of the house. Uh, also the tree, the right of the house. Okay, so let's get back. Okay, here. So this is the tree in the right of the house, right? So I'm just going to drop it like this. Okay, a little bit. All right, looks better. Now I'm going to crop the sky because we do not have anything to crop with. So I'm just going to select it again. The portion that you will not crop. So I'm just going to do so. This is the pig. We should not crop this. Okay, look at this. Now click crop and it will be cropped. Okay, let's revise again that if we have missed anything. We can like also Crop it like this. Okay, that's more better. So we remove the sky as much as we could without removing the mountain peak. And we have also removed the tree on the right of the house. Now let us uh, revise again that if, if we have missed anything. All right, so let's look, uh, look again. So the image must be rectangular. So you can see the image is rectangular the house and the telephone pole on the left of the gateway. Left of the gateway, the house and telephone pole was removed. And uh, the gravel pathway was removed below the yellow rectangle. The tree on the right of the house was removed. The sky was removed uh, without cropping as much as the mountain peak. Without cropping the mountain peak, we removed the sky as much as we could. Now you have to add the THR, uh, traffic holidays in the yellow rectangle. Okay. So this is, I, cop, uh, I copied it again. So I'll just go and like here you need to uh, paste it. Okay, this font size looks pretty, pretty big. Okay, so this looks a lot better. THR for terrific holidays. Okay, now let's get back to the question. So far we have completed this this number B, save the images holiday. 
paste a copy of Holiday in task AG2. We save the task AG2 and print task AG2 on one side of paper. All right. So here is it. Um, let me do the rest. Now let's click save or can like go. Never click save. You can just always click save as. All right, so documents and uh, here is it, solution. So I'm gonna save it as a question, holiday. It is saved and um, So I'm gonna close it now. Uh, this is my screen and let's go to task AG2. Task AG2. And here you are asked to insert the part picture. So here you need to just add the picture. This looks a little bit blurry. The matter, let's make the image size a bit smaller. Okay, so here is it. Here you go. You have completed your task AG2 and task AG1 as well. Um, so you have to resave it and later you have to print it. You just have to print it if you want to know how to print it. Just click on the print over here and like select the current page and select just your size of the paper. What size? Uh, I think you will be asked to. Uh, printed in on A4 paper. So you will be selecting the size or whatever size they are asked in the question. So just select the size and click OK and it will be printed. All right. Uh, so thank you for watching my video. Uh, I hope you will find it useful. Uh, and if you have any question, you can let me know in the comment section below. And um, the next video I'll be covering up the next topic. Uh, next question answer is given in this. I'll be covering up like this question, the activity two using database software. Um, how we are going to uh, solve this problem, the activity two. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you later.